Hi, glad you could join us. I'm Annette Sherman. This is Community. And there's a special thrill, is the only word I can come up with, in using that word today. Because we're going to be talking about community video archives. And I haven't figured out, the people, my two guests today, probably are more knowledgeable about the starting date and how many years we've been doing this. I see a beautiful blonde head shaking up and down, yes. And I see a not bad looking guy, <laughs> a rather handsome guy actually, and extremely talented, not shaking his head. Mm -hmm. But I, when, when I, I've gotten to know the expressions on that face because we decided we've known each other 30 some odd years. 38 years. 40? No. 38. 38 years. 38 years. He hasn't changed a bit. I'm really angry about that. <laughs> I mean it, sir. You haven't changed one bit. Do you have pictures of yourself that many years ago? No, we didn't have cameras back then. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't believe it because he says he looks like such a sensible kind of intelligent. He is sensible and intelligent, but he also has a great sense of humor. And that that is so, such an asset to anyone. Uh, but uh, Myron Hieronymus Thomas. Yeah. And people want to know why he wants that name Hieronymus. Would you tell us now why you chose that middle name? Oh, it's a long story mm -hmm. in that, but I'll give you the abbreviated version. What? I'll give you the abbreviated version of Hieronymus. Hieronymus in Greek, a uh, Greek Orthodox priest once told me, means holy priest. And in Hebrew, it means holy monk. Well, I'm neither of those things, but Hieronymus was a 15th century Dutch artist. His name was Hieronymus Bosch, and that's where I heard of the name Hieronymus. So Hieronymus has a great rhythm with Thomas, and so Myron Hieronymus Thomas, when I went into radio, was quite unusual, and while people didn't always remember Hieronymus, they would remember Myron Anonymous, Myron Hoochie Economist. <laughs> So it worked for me, and I've kept it ever okay. since. Whatever the reason, it's, it's your choice, and it's your desire to do that, and even if you're just playing games with it, even if you just, for whatever reason. However, people ask me about Hieronymus. Is that really his middle name? Yes. No, that's not true. It really isn't your middle name. Myron well, Thomas isn't even your middle name. That's my story, and I'm sticking <laughs> to it. See what I mean, what I have to contend with? If he wasn't so talented and he didn't have such an absolutely wonderful, incredible, incredibly beautiful and incredibly talented wife and two little doggies, mm -hmm. and he may have different doggies now because they are, they are people who love living creatures mm -hmm. and they protect them and they care for them, particularly his beautiful wife, Christy. And I'm sorry Christy couldn't make it today because she would have added, of course we have a particularly beautiful young woman, added that additional particularly beautiful young woman. Maybe next time, next maybe, year. Maybe next time. What about this time? Huh? What about this time? What about this time? Yeah. Oh, you want me to talk about this time? Yes, please. <laughs> and hurry up so you can go back and finish what you would do. <laughs> okay. This time that Myron Hieronymus Thomas is talking about, before I introduce this beautiful blonde lady, is our upcoming annual Community Video Archives luncheon, at which not only do people have, well, I love what, what some people say, well, they stand up on, at the podium and they look around and they, said, they say, who's watching Sarasota? <laughs> Everybody is here. And we're delighted at that. Everybody is there. Everybody, I, I hate to use this phrase, anybody, everybody who's anybody. For the past how many years, Myron? I don't 38. have the exact luncheon. The, I believe the first luncheon was around 96. No, oh, before that. Before that, the first mm -hmm. event was 92 at Selby Library. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I believe that you and Jan started up around 1989 when you first exactly, established. Exactly, exactly. And it's a little sketchy because when we started up, and we're going to get to this beautiful girl in a moment, when we started up, <clears throat> we two, the two of us, did not know where we wanted to go and how we wanted to go. It sort of made its own 
shape and size and place and ideas. Because we talk to people like the head of, of, of SunTrust Bank and or the head of the Herald, Herald, Herald Tribune, and they would say, oh, that's an incredible idea. <coughs> and they'd offer their thinking or their, their point of view. And Jan and I would look at each other and it was a good idea. Mm -hmm. And we bless them for, for accepting the, the, the concept and running with it. We'll, we will give you all the support you need. And they did. The Herald Tribune did. Uh, Sarasota Banking Institution, SunTrust, was a wonderful believer in what we were doing and still is. And I must mention Margaret Callahan because she's doing a different job for SunTrust. But as usual, Mar Margaret does not know how to do anything that isn't top drawer and excellent. She's a dear friend and a wonderful person to have saying rah, rah. And she has for all these years and still does. Myron Hieronymus Thomas. I'm going to do this with you, so don't feel too happy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> As well. I was hired by, what was his name? Ted Rogers. Ted Rogers. I walked in to be on the uh, talk show that the tall guy that looked like Ichabod Crane. What was his name? I don't remember. Okay. Because he has come to a couple of our, he passed away. Uh, he had a talk show. And it was a very, very uh, big audience, radio, in those days. And it was a call-in show. And somebody who knew me from New York or knew of me from New York called him and said, do you know about Annette Sherman? He said, who is that? And she told him that I was on uh, radio in New York and a very good, big following to my show. And he called me up and he said, how would you like to come on and be my guest? I said, I'd love it. Because he had all of the talk show, not all of them, but pretty much all of them, an enormous audience of talk show fans. Okay. So when I walked into that little radio stations never have grand hotels uh, kind of buildings. They have these dinky little shacks. And this was a dinky little shack. But as you walked in, it was rather attractive and clean and, and enough space for everybody. And the receptionist in front said, Mr. Uh, what's his name? I don't remember. No, Ted Rogers. Oh, yeah. Ted. Yeah. Mr. Rogers would like to see you before you go on uh, the program. And I came into his office and he shook my hand and he said, I'm going to be listening. And uh, we hope that, that uh, da, 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 just a very a little welcoming moment. I went in and we did get a lot of calls. And the receptionist again said, Mr. Rogers wants to see you. He said, I was listening. He said, you did an excellent job. He was very flattering. He said, in fact, we were thinking of doing a, a, a talk show with a woman about women. I said, you must be reading my mind. He said, I hope so, because I would like you to do that show. I said, we'll talk business in a little while. What I'd like to do is bring you in a, a, a sample show and see if we're both talking about the same thing. He said, that'd be good. I said, you want that this afternoon, <laughs> tomorrow morning? He said, no, you can take a week or two if you need it. I said, no, I don't need it because I've been thinking about it myself for quite some time. In fact, since we moved to Sarasota. The next day, or that afternoon, I don't remember because I was in a hurry to have him critique it. I came in with the, with the sample show, with the, uh, and he said, it's exactly what we had in mind. I said, well, now we get to the tough part. I said, I don't want a salary. I want a commission because we'll be sold out in two weeks. And we were sold out in two weeks. And, and the then program there was, was called Conversations with Annette. What? Conversations with Annette. Yeah, I think so. That was, uh, we, we almost didn't have a title of it in the beginning. But... Uh, Ted Rogers was, was uh, very supportive. After each show, he would have a list of things that he would like me to consider changing. Now, don't, I mean, not, this is from a pro who no, ran radio stations before we were born. Maybe before <laughs> you were born. I was, I think, born. <laughs> anyway, uh, and each day when I did the show, I mean, we agreed, we found 
uh, the, an agreeable remuneration set up. And um, I wanted a commission. I didn't want uh, salary because I knew we'd be sold out in short order. And then I, we insist upon yearly contracts, which you know is, is well. But then he introduced me to this young man who was working there as a, a, an assistant manager, I think you were. As production time. manager. Production manager. And his name was Myron Thomas, young, attractive fellow. But we all have to get older one day. <laughs> Lucy went, <laughs> Lucy is uh, my uh, associate producer, my assistant, my helper. In fact, 99% of what, what my needs are, are taken care of by Lucy Rubley, who is here making faces at me. <laughs> she can't do anything to make that pretty face ugly because just, she's just going to laugh and, and do silly things and make me laugh frequently. Okay. So uh, you did not work for uh, the radio station at that time, I think. Or did you work for? You did. Mm -hmm. But you didn't. You were assistant to the, or assistant, what was your title? At, at that time, I was production manager. Okay. And then you moved up, and he gave you more responsibility, and you and I became good friends, because there's stuff I wanted to do, and every time I came to Myron Hieronymus Thomas and said, I want to do a live thing from Sarasota Square Mall. Oh, I love the idea. And he would be there supporting me and how to do it, technically how to do it, and how to get it on the, and we would do that. Then we did... My husband at that time and I were going to, to London on a, a trip. It, coincidentally, it was the, the week that they were having the inauguration of the, the new, uh, what, Prince? It, it was, I believe it was the wedding. The wedding, the wedding, the wedding, what she was wearing, yeah, okay. And we were going to be there at that time for the wedding. And he said to me, how would you like to report to the station? I've dreamt of that over to you. <laughs> and, oh, well, I better hurry up <laughs> because we've only got 15 minutes and you haven't even said hello. Anyway, it was a thrill. It was wonderful. It was your idea, and I give credit where credit is due. Okay, I want to talk about you both, you each of you, have been with Community Video Archives since its inception. It is now, we are now in, what year is it? Has anyone been counting? I think 27 or 28th are I think, yeah, close to 30 years. Mm -hmm. Maybe even more than 30 years. It's 30 years from its inception. It's 27 years since the very first event. Yeah. Okay. We have a wonderful and supportive community who have really... But when after, before I say that, why not? The idea is so important because when you look at whatever we print up, this is our, one of our newsletters, and you look at these people, they have all made a sizable contribution to our community. Otherwise, it wouldn't be the way it is if people such as these, uh, such as Virginia Toolman, such as uh, Bob and, and Lee Peterson, mm -hmm. such as... Marjorie North, I could write the whole the whole list of people that are here uh, were all not just philanth philanthropically, but what they did and how they did it and their function as a as a as a resident of Sarasota was beyond dreams because they they made the the community something special because they believed it was and it is. Okay, coming up, what is the date, my darling? It is Monday, April twenty ninth. It's right. the April, 27th, April 29th. Okay. The 27th annual luncheon. What's that? The 27th annual luncheon. It's the 27th? Mm -hmm. Correct. He's good with numbers. He is. We'll keep him around. <laughs> okay. Just a little of the history, and then I'm going to let them uh, ask them to just explain what they do and what they think that they uh, what, add to the whole picture. Uh, I had been reading... When we started this, I had been reading about this beautiful, I didn't know she was that beautiful, but they referred to her as a beautiful young woman who was chairing, at that time, I think there were 10 major events or more, maybe 12. 
Mm -hmm. I said, how on earth can she chair 12 major events? One major event would be debilitating to me. So I call up the number that was there, and I ask to speak to her. She gets on the phone, very sweet, very nice, very pleasant. I said, I'd like to meet you because we're starting community video archives, and it's going to be a luncheon, and I'm looking for someone who is competent to be the chair. Let's meet and discuss it. Oh, she says, okay. And she comes in and walks in. I looked at her, and she, this is a long time ago. I mean, she's beautiful now, and she's absolutely perfect in my eyes. She walked in, and I said, oh, I had no idea that you were that beautiful and young. And I, after I said it, I said, I said, you should have said old and haggish. <laughs> because, but she came in, and she, she had heard about our, comp our organization, and she was delighted to accept the job of chairperson. And I want to tell you, I had a lot of experience with chair people who were, were awful, just terrible. They didn't know what they were doing. At no given time could they give me any information. Strike that. This beautiful young lady takes charge. She knows at any given time, if I woke her up at 3 in the morning, she could still tell me, the list of people who are coming, how many have paid, how many are yet to pay, how many are taking an entire table, how many want signs that say friends and fans of whoever the honoree was, has done a job. Well, first of all, she's capable. Or whatever job she takes, with tackles, I started, uh, takes and tackles together is tackles. <laughs> <laughs> whatever job she tackles, she has that incredible mind and incredible drive and a desire to do the best she can, which is incomparable. Thank you for all those many wonderful years of relieving me of this, as far as I'm concerned, hateful responsibility. <laughs> but at any given time, I can call this beautiful young lady and say, where are we, Chris? Well, we have uh, 120 of this, and we have 16 of that, and we have knows everything that's happening. Hasn't disappointed me ever in anything she does. I love you, Chris Fowler. I love you, too. Myron Thomas, I've loved you for a long time because <laughs> you've, you've given me opportunities that I never thought I could have in radio and then later in television with ideas. You're, you are a perfectionist, and it, it looks very well on you. It looks good on you because that's the way you think. We were talking before we went on air about the fact that okay, our videos... And this, this is the way you package them, mm -hmm. and they're beautifully packaged. They're only, they're, they're, they're just almost ready to give as a gift. This is Sarah Beth Collagen, one of last year's honorees. Charlie Husking, mm -hmm. who has uh, been become a, a benefactor in our community lately, but a wonderful person and a very talented writer. And Sarah Beth Collagen is uh, Going and moving on to bigger and better things. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. Yes, is leaving us. Oh. And I don't know that they're ever going to get someone to replace her that is excellent as she is. Uh, four honorees. Well, this year's honorees, we're doing something a little different. Larry Thompson. We've got Larry Thompson coming back again. We're doing Larry Part 2. Okay, Larry is the first one we've done that with, and not only is he, is he uh, the first one we've done that with, he is the first person who's been deserving of it. Yes. If you go up to Ringling College uh, and look and see what he has created, and somebody said to me, well, how did he manage to do that? Number one, the kind of personality that he has is very trustworthy and honest, and he's known for that. He does what he says he's going to do. If he says he's going to build something here in Sarasota that is going to allow us to make films and compete with Hollywood, that's going to be done. It is in the process as we speak. A fabulous, a fantastic man. I wish I had three hours to tell you about some of the things that Larry Thompson has created, has done, and has been champion of. But we will have 28 minutes, 30 seconds in the presentation that will tell you all of those things. I said to someone the other day, Myron, I don't make this case strong enough. The people that we induct into the Hall of Fame and that you do the video biography of and that we have pictures of and that we, we honor, 
have their place made in history because these people will, 20 years from now, 50 years from now, there'll be no other re recollection of this period in terms of people who contributed to it and what they did and how they did it and their future thinking, such as, such as our, our wonderful uh, Larry Thompson. And all of the people that I, I, without exception, I really believe, all of the people that we have, Sarah Beth Collagen, who's leaving us now again, leaving our community and moving on to something bigger and better, but she's done a marvelous job, prize-winning job, on two or three occasions with our Sarasota libraries. And Charlie Husking has amazing man. Nobody knew how wealthy he was. His parents were the gentlest people, the sweetest people. And when they passed away, left him quite a fortune, which he is using to benefit our community. So who else is going to be joining the archives this year? Who else is what? Who else are we inducting? Okay. So we've also Please got... Please, so take over. Take over at this point and tell them who we're okay. inducting. Okay. We've got Larry Thompson, part two. And then we also have Julie Milton. She's the executive editor of Sarasota Scene Magazine. Absolutely phenomenal woman um, and all the good work that she funnels into our community through the magazine. She's made that magazine what it is today. Yes. And I, I love that magazine. I think it really speaks to our community better than any other magazine who thinks they may have spoken to our community, but she does. And what she, it's her work. And, and in a positive and way, woman. in a very positive, she puts a positive spin on everything, and I love that. Okay. Next. In addition, we have John Thaxton. He um, was with our Sarasota County government for 12 years, and then he transitioned over to his work with Gulf Coast Community Foundation. So he is currently the senior vice president there. Um, and then finally, we have Gail Gynup, um, who was with... Um, the Herald Tribune for 17 years, and now she's moved on to bigger and better adventures in our community, and I'm sure she's going to have an amazing impact. I think next year, if my mother-in-law used to say, if we live in all is well, we'll take a full hour for this program, because I, there's so much that we want. I want to talk about what Myron does. And I don't know who else could have ever done it because what Myron does is embrace what we are talking about. In other words, he's not just a hired help that comes in and, and knocks out a, a, a video. He believes in what he's doing. Am I speaking correctly for you? Yes. <laughs> you had me worried for a moment there, my friend. I'm just sorry that, you, that your beautiful wife couldn't join us today because she works as hard as you do uh, to create the things that you create. We have over a hundred of these. Now, see, when I say I don't think I make the point and I want to make it now, these people are the people that created the community that we live in today in their own inimitable way. And what's going to happen in a hundred years from now is that nobody will remember except those that go and get Myron Hieronymus Thomas's video biographies. And then they'll play this as Sarah Beth Collagen, and she will have been long gone in other mm -hmm. pursuits of, of Charlie Husking and the other 98 or more, it's more, uh, of videos that you have created. I love your imagination and what what prompts you to do things. Usually with the opening of these videos, we, Myron starts with a shot of a baby, of an infant, and gets a laugh at every luncheon because it's some cute little baby mm -hmm. bunch, bumping around. And this particular video, he, he told me about it at the time because we discuss it once he's finished. He didn't have any, any, any photograph, any ph uh, photographic material of this honoree when, he, I think it was a he, was a baby. So, and he wanted to start it that way because it, it, it allows the viewers to see the, 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 the community at that time. So he decided he was going to go to the Herald Tribune, our newspaper, and get the issue of their newspaper on the day that honoree was born, 
I think that is so creative. Mm -hmm. It is so typical of you. And it brings in, in other words, you wouldn't say, oh, God, I can't do that. I, I've got to give up this, this video because I don't have that opening segment. You came up with an idea. And that's what, that's what creativity is about. And we were just talking about uh, Ringling College. Mm -hmm. Two things I, very quickly, Annette. I know we're running out of time. One, I'm just a vessel. You're the, just what? I'm just a vessel. These pieces create themselves. Not, I get out of the way yeah, and I, let them do their thing. I'm not doubting that you thing. believe that, now, let, me, let me say one other thing. The viewers should know that we do now have a YouTube channel, and they can view these by going to YouTube, and in the YouTube search panel, just simply put Community Video Archives, maybe Sarasota, and it will take them directly to the YouTube channel so they can view these on their computer. All I want to say to you is thank you, bless you, and thank you, and thank God, because uh, what your talents are, you didn't just, you've, you've honed them. You made them special. You made yourself. You you're love to learn new things about how to do it, and, and you do. You continue to, to, to grow, and you continue to advance. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you, beautiful wife, because she works right alongside of you. You are the creative, and, and she is the person that, that sees to it. My beautiful Chris Fowler. Yes. What would we ever do without you? No. Don't I, ever leave. I promise I will not. But I want you to tell everyone how they can get tickets for this oh, event. Oh, yes. Let's tell, please tell them that. Speak into the camera. So you can call um, and give your information to Annette. Leave a message. 941-365-7052. Into that camera, with the light on it. Or you can email Annette at communityvideoarchives at gmail.com if you're interested in information about the event. Okay. And Sit. Annette, yeah. thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for founding this organization, for having the vision to do this, for working diligently throughout the years, effortlessly for no pay to create this organization I'm going to throw it right back on you because Lucy is waving her hand, which means we have to say goodbye. But without you, without Chris Fowler, I could not do it. It would not happen. There isn't another Byron Hieronymus Thomas, and there is not another Chris Fowler. And there will never I be have, another Annette yeah, Sherman. Sorry. Say goodbye. <laughs>